It's a real pleasure to welcome you to uh, Athens, and uh, we're very happy that uh, uh, such an extensive uh, delegation of important Japanese uh, companies uh, takes uh, an interest uh, in what is happening uh, in Greece. Uh, I have always been uh, a firm proponent of strengthening relationships between uh, uh, Greece uh, and uh, Japan. Uh, and I think, indeed, uh, your visit comes at a very uh, appropriate uh, time to discuss uh, further economic ties between our two countries. Uh, as you know, the Greek economy has been doing rather well uh, over the past uh, three years. We're uh, outperforming the Eurozone in terms of uh, growth. We have the fastest reduction uh, of debt uh, uh, as a percentage of GDP in the Eurozone area, and we have uh, succeeded uh, in turning Greece into an attractive destination for foreign uh, direct investment, uh, leveraging our comparative advantages, but also our important uh, regional uh, position. So I think this is really uh, the time to discuss uh, in, in more detail uh, about uh, the possibility to foster stronger economic ties in terms of direct investments uh, taking place by Japanese companies uh, in Greece, uh, not just targeting the Greek market, but uh, also uh, the broader region. Uh, of course, to, ex to explore also the potential uh, for more Greek exports uh, into Japan and to leverage the fact that we, we have uh, you know, traditional uh, economic ties, especially in the, in the maritime uh, sector where you know, many um, the Greek ship owners uh, have chosen and continue to choose uh, Japan to build their ships. We also have uh, areas of common interest when it comes to foreign policy, an understanding, a shared understanding about the importance of uh, international law in terms of resolving uh, maritime disputes. Uh, uh, we have uh, common problems when it comes to these, uh, uh, to these issues and, uh, and common challenges. And of course, also, we can discuss the strengthening uh, of uh, uh, of our ties when it comes to, to tourism. We've had a record year uh, this year uh, in terms of tourism, uh, uh, and we would like to see more Greeks traveling to Japan and more Japanese um, uh, traveling um, uh, to Greece. And of course, uh, we're also planning, as you probably know, an official visit by myself, uh, hopefully with also a, uh, a substantial business delegation to Japan at some point uh, uh, in early uh, uh, 2023. Uh, and taking into consideration that you also have the presidency of the, uh, uh, of the G7, I think this would be an appropriate time for us to visit Japan. So let me stop here. I welcome you uh, again to, uh, to, to Greece, and thank you for your uh, interest in our country. Thank you very much. Um, your Excellency, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, thank you very much for sparing time for the Kedan delegation, despite your busy schedule. My name is Yoshio Sato, Chair of Kedan's Committee on Europe. Mm. I'm reading this delegation with Mr. Toshiaki Higashihara, co who co-chairs the committee with me. Japan and Greece are both maritime nations and have been developing bilateral relationships sharing common values such as freedom, democracy, and uh, rule of law. In terms of economy, Greece is on the steady recovery trend after emerging from the economic crisis. Trade between Japan and Greece has been steadily expanding under the Japan EU EPA. So we are visiting your country as a high level group of major Japanese companies. In the meanwhile, the global community is facing severe situations. Russia is aggression against Ukraine totally violates the principle of international law and uh, can never be justified nor tolerated. We must respond in unity by boosting our solidarity mm. among countries that share common values in order to prevent the unilateral change of the status quo by force. As the geopolitical tensions aggravate, decreasing dependence on the Russians is our mutual concern. Mm. During our stay, Athens, we are keen to learn about your strategy for diversifying supply chains, 
since both Japan and Greece import a considerable amount of energy resources from Russia. Mm. Also, we look forward to exchange views as to how we can realize a free and open international economy mm. order mm. in the face of such difficult geographic political situation. Uh, furthermore, we would also like to learn the perspective of the relationship with China, as your country has established cross economic ties with China through the One Belt One Road initiatives. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Kedan then looks forward to contributing towards further development of Japan Greece bilateral relationships through private sector diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.